are learning new details about the arrest of the suspected Golden State Killer. Joseph D'Angelo, who is a former police officer and served in the Navy, is accused of 12 murders and dozens of rapes. And we have just confirmed that he was tracked using DNA through a genealogy website. ABC's Natalie Brunel has the latest. This is the man Sacramento Sheriff's detectives believe is the elusive Golden State Killer, 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo, allegedly responsible for at least 12 murders, 50 rapes, and more than 100 burglaries in California from 1976 to 1986. Authorities making a critical break in the case within the last few weeks, leading them to this suburban home near Sacramento. We started some surveillance. We were able to get some discarded DNA and we were able to confirm what we thought we already knew, that we had our man. The news quickly spreading among the victims and their families. I just started shaking. I never in my lifetime expected to see that. Elizabeth Hupp was 16 when a man authorities believe was D'Angelo broke into her central California bedroom while she was sound asleep and tried to abduct her. Her father tried to stop them and ended up killed. He shot my dad twice and then took off running. I loved my father dearly and he took him away from me. The killer spreading fear, making taunting phone calls to police. And victims. The victims' families sharing relief the case may finally be closed. For the 51 ladies who were brutally raped in this crime scene, sleep better tonight. Authorities are pointing to great detective work and new forensic technology as the keys to solving the case, but won't reveal what exactly led them to D'Angelo until the case goes to trial. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.